Hi, my Circle Time friends. Welcome to Circle Time with Miss Valerie. And I have another fun story to share with you. But before I do, I wanted to talk about the weather here. So you know I love to do my stories and everything outside because I love nature. And today was a hot day and it was sunny. Um, and then all of a sudden the weather is changing. And that happens in the summertime, right? And it happens where I am in New England a lot. Oh, I hear some thunder. Do you hear it? So we're gonna have a thunderstorm soon, but it's not here yet, but it's very windy and I can hear the wind going through the trees. I do hear some birds. Um, it's getting darker, it's very cloudy. Let me see if I can just show you some of the clouds. <clears throat> see, you see the stormy clouds, my friends? Ooh, <gasps> could you see them? And do you hear the wind going through the trees? I think it's kind of exciting. But anyways, before the storm really hits and it starts raining and lightning, I wanted to share this story with you. So let's see if we can get through it before the storm hits, okay? And let's hope that I can turn the pages without it being too windy. So this story is called Inch by Inch and it's by Leo Leone. Move you a little bit, okay. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. So he's taking the inchworm with him to some of his bird friends to be measured too. The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. He measured the toucan's beak. What a colorful bird, right? <laughs> the legs of the heron. The tail of the pheasant. Look at that tail. <sighs> and the whole hummingbird. Because hummingbirds are small, right, my friends? Look at that hummingbird. And they're very fast. They fly very, very fast. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. Can you find him in the picture? Where is he going? What is he doing? He measured and measured. What do you think his idea is, my friends? What's he trying to do there? Inch by inch. until he inched out of sight. What a cool plan! He didn't want to get eaten for breakfast, but he didn't think he could measure a song. He measured things, right, my friends? So he inched his way away. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed that story. And I don't know if you could hear the thunder in the background and if you can hear the wind. But nature is an amazing thing, and that's why I love to bring my circle times out with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this story today, and I'll be back soon with another story at Circle Time with Miss Valerie. Bye, my friends.